Well, here we have it, my final Titanfall video. Well, I won't say final because anything's possible, but certainly for a while. Yesterday, I ended up getting rid of this game. I traded it in so that I could be able to purchase Watch Dogs. And, I don't know, it wasn't really a good feeling turning in this game. I mean, I wanted Watch Dogs. I wanted to be able to pay for that. But I feel like this game definitely had the potential to dethrone Call of Duty as the best first-person shooter, uh, to some at least. But sadly, this game, at least as of right now, just doesn't have a very good re replay value. And it certainly could change with the DLC that is coming out. Well, the day I'm recording this, I believe the first map pack came out. I'm recording this on the 15th. I believe the Expedition map pack was scheduled to come out today with three new multiplayer maps. And that's great. Hopefully that uh, adds a little bit more of fun or, you know, replay value to the game. Excuse me. See how long that is. But, anyways, like I said, I, I didn't really want to turn the turn in this game, but I just didn't really see myself playing it again. Like I said, this might not be my final Titanfall video. But as of right now, it is. Hopefully, something draws me back to this game because I would, I would love to come back and play it. The game is stunning. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot different than your average Call of Duty or Battlefield. I wouldn't say quite as good as Halo, but still good nonetheless. And it was refreshing to just get into it. You know, play something different other than Call of Duty. And uh, I'm going to miss it, to be honest. But let's talk about Watch Dogs, the game that I basically traded this for. Now, Watch Dogs was revealed at E3 of last year, I believe. And it was originally scheduled to come out in November of last year. I believe that's correct. But unfortunately, I got delayed, I believe, until... March or April of this year? I don't I don't quite remember. I didn't do my research. I probably should have before this video, but I didn't look it up or anything. But it did get delayed and then it got re delayed until May twenty seventh. Now it's not going to get delayed again. It's completely confirmed that it's going to be released on the twenty seventh and I have my copy already all paid for. And if you don't know what Watch Dogs is, it's basically, it's kind of like GTA, it's an open world, third person, um, RPG maybe, role playing game. But instead of focusing more so on like the guns and driving and kind of violence that GTA brings you, it more so focuses on using a different technique to get uh, what you need or to complete objectives, etc. That technique is hacking. You're basically a really intelligent hacker that can hack into anything from ATM machines to street lights, you know, to get your money to create scenarios where you're able to uh, escape the police quicker or, you know, things of that nature. And I really do think that this was. Uh, a great concept it's, it's it's kind of like nothing we ever seen before and you know with it coming to the Xbox one there aren't many titles out for the Xbox one at the moment so for something like this to come out for the Xbox one it's pretty exciting you know I haven't played the Xbox one in a while I I never played Ghost I hate that game I played Battlefield 4 on occasion with a friend of mine but other than that I really don't play in my Xbox one so it is exciting, <coughs> excuse me, it is exciting for a good title to actually be coming out to the Xbox One. And I gotta admit, I was turned off to this game when it was delayed. You know, I, I really didn't think, I was excited to get it, I was gonna pick it up in November when it was supposed to first be released. 
but after getting delayed, I figured the game would probably just have a bunch of problems, and that's why I got delayed. But after giving it a lot of thought, I actually just decided to come back and uh, give it another chance, and I gotta be honest, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I'm trying to more so get away from like Call of Duty and things like that and start to pick up games like uh, the Watch Dogs that is actually coming out. So let me know if you want to see some Watch Dogs videos on my channel. I know I haven't really done anything like that, but it's always good to start something new. And possibly the games that are coming out uh, with gold for Xbox One. Uh, I believe it's Max the Brotherhood or something, and Halo Spartan Assault, which I already have. So that's good that Phil Spencer and Xbox are starting to more so listen to their fans. We've been saying we wanted games with gold on Xbox One for a while now, and they're finally going to, to deliver to us next month.